Oh, here we go. Back at it. Lunch with bomb in the house. Topic of the day is three steps uh, to help you lose weight. All right. Uh, if you come on, give me a thumbs up. Tell me where you're coming from. What your workout look like? Had a great uh, upper body strength pulling session this morning. Tina and I crushed it. Uh, if you're watching live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. If you're a first timer, drop a three. I love to connect with you. You're like, who's this crazy guy anyway? Uh, lunch with bomb. So uh, I started doing these a while back. You know, if I could make a connection with just one person uh, a day or even a week or maybe even one person a year and I could help just add a little motivation uh, into their life, you know, I, I find value in that. So uh, if you find value in what I got going on, uh, drop a comment below. Uh, like it and share it. Appreciate it. I got my Facebook live. got my Insta live going. One of the things that these Lunch with Bombs uh, do for me as well is uh, holds me accountable. Okay, sometimes it's easy to run out and grab lunch. Uh, and sometimes those choices aren't always the best ones. So uh, these are good, good things, good strategies that you can use uh, in your everyday life to you know, maybe fill some of the time that you have that would, uh, you know, you'd make poor choices and make better choices. So a couple quick announcements. If you haven't uh, following what we got going on at MVP, uh, we've got our baseball and softball hitting lessons going as well as our position specifics. We've got our Saturday morning catching uh, that I'm doing. We've also got some infield and pitching work that we've got going on during the week. So uh, if you've got a young athlete that's looking for uh, some tune-up before the season, I know we've got our youth tryouts are coming up in a month. We've got our high school seasons are cranking up. Uh, we got a bunch of folks uh, in at the gym already uh, dialing it up. So we're calling it prep mode. You know, a lot of folks want the pot of gold but don't want to work for it. So uh, anyway, hit me up if you want that. So, but topic of the day is uh, three steps to lose weight. And, you know, I, I always think about, uh, you know, we had these great discussions at the mor this morning. And I was actually just talking with our uh, uh, Coach H, you know, about, uh, you know, workouts. You know, there's 168 hours in the week. All right, and if even if you worked out five times a week, say even just for an hour, five times, right? That's five hours out of 168 hours out of the week. Do you realize that's only 3% of your week? So you have 97% of the rest of the time that uh, you have to do things right and dial things in, okay? And that's where people falter. I always say, where do I have the most or the biggest impact on any one of my students or clients or anything? That's when they're not with me. That's when I can have the biggest impact to help them make progress to whatever their goals are, right? And so today we're talking about losing weight. And, uh, you know, so I'm just going to give you some simple strategies, you know. Keep it simple. You know, nutrition is not easy. You know, sticking with a nutritional plan or a diet plan is not easy. People make it way harder uh, than it needs to be. And you just need to keep things really basic. I talk about goal setting and I talk about mindset and I talk about nutritional plan, you know, you know, hydrate, you know, eat more lean protein, you know, fill, eat a colorful plate, you know, avoid your grains, you know, fill in the gaps where you're deficient. You know, those are all really, uh, those are important pieces as you go throughout your day. But I'm just going to, I'm going to actually make it a little bit smaller for you. Three things, three things that you can do, uh, you know, every single day in order to lose weight. And you're gonna you're gonna say Gee, it's it's not that easy. It is all right. Is number one, you need to fuel the body with the most nutrient dense fuels possible. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna say it again. You have to fuel your body with the most nutrient dense fuel, food, whole foods as possible. Okay. And you're gonna have to do a little research. I'm gonna throw you some info a little bit later, but. You know, you got to do your research and figure out what those are. You know, even a simple Google search. Ask, ask Siri, ask Google, what's the most nutritious foods available on earth? Plants and meats. Ask it and then write it down and drop it in the comments. Okay? What's the most nutrient-dense foods, plants and meats available on this planet? Drop it down below. Okay? So number one, uh, you have to fuel the body with the most nu nutritious uh, fuel available. Uh, number two, you, you need to not overeat. Eat like an adult, and it doesn't matter what you follow. You follow keto, paleo, his kins, hers kins, Atkins, whatever you follow him. You need to be in a, it has, there has to be a caloric deficit, okay? One of the biggest, here, write this one down, because here's what people do, and this is the biggest flaw, I think, that people make, because they have their little trackers, 
right? And they're counting their calories and whatnot, and they do a hit or they do a metabolic or whatever, and they said, oh, you know, I, I burned 300 calories or I burned 250 calories or I got on the elliptical and I rode and I, and I, I burned 150 calories. So they're equating that to extra food. That, that's the biggest mistake that people make. And that's why people overeat and then they can't lose weight and they're like, oh wait, but I had my numbers and all right. Well, you're in your, everything's the same, you know, energy expenditure, fuel going in. It's the same. That's why people don't lose weight or shoot. Even why people gain weight is that they, they're in a surplus. You have to have it. It doesn't matter which plan you follow. You have to be in a deficit. Okay. And that's the biggest thing. And what people do is they count it and then they say, oh, I'm just going to add it to what my, my total calorie count is. And then that's why they're screwed. Okay. So don't count those. Those don't count. All right. That, those are actually bonus. So don't count those in your deal. All right. That's going to uh, ha actually help in a, a bigger surplus or a bigger deficit so that you can actually get to your goal quicker. Okay. So uh, a couple things. Let's see. All right. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. I'm going to give you a couple other strategies here in a second. Let's see. Oh, one other thing. We talked about it this morning. You know, uh, I posted on, you know, how many of you wake up in the morning and you got some kind of joint stiffness going on? You know, ankle pain, knee pain, back pain, shoulder pain. Every, there's the classic 40-something. Do a bunch of pull-ups. All of a sudden, my elbow's aching. You know, I run a lot. My knees hurt. My, elbow, my ankles hurt. You know, what, what are some of the things that post? Inflammation, people. Inflammation is one of the biggest issues that people deal with in any health uh, deal they got. Gary's in the house. What's up, my man? Luke's in the house. What's up, my man? Uh, you know, so here's a couple things. You got to do your research. You know, you go ahead and look. What's the most nutrient-dense foods available? What are anti-inflammatory foods that could help enhance your life? Or even look at the inf inflammatory foods that create inflammation I'm going to guarantee a lot of a lot of the folks and clients that I work with, we start writing some things down, all of a sudden, you know, they have, you know, the majority, 80% of the things that they're consuming are inflammatory in, in some way, excuse me, inflammatory in some way. So you got to look on the flip side of those things, you know, figure out, you know, obviously you got to make it fit within your lifestyle, but you got to take the inflammation out. You got to put the best nutrition in, you got to not overeat, and then you got to figure out how to flush the system out. Now, the crazy thing is you can talk to, I've been talking to a bunch of folks lately, uh, you know, uh, MDs, uh, nutritionists, you know, asking them, well, what's your take on, you know, what's a, a, a good nutritional plan for folks? The crazy thing is, is they all have a different view or some of them don't even, they don't even know. So the, the biggest thing for you is you have to do your research. And I always tell folks, keep it simple. Keep things so simple and you have to find what works for you. But go back to my basic things. You need to uh, make sure you stay hydrated. You need to eat more lean protein. Uh, you know, have a blend of plant-based and animal-based. If you're more on the plant-based side, that's fantastic. Okay, but don't be totally on the, the, the animal protein side. You know, you got to have a little bit of balance. All right, eat a colorful plate, your fruits and veggies, and make sure they're bright in color and green leafy vegetables, purples and reds and oranges and all that good stuff, right? Okay, and then if you're truly trying to lose weight, stay with the whole grain type things, but try to avoid as much processed things as you can. You know, one of the things I always say is if it's in a package or a box, don't eat it. Okay, and then finally, you got to fill in the gaps. You got to fill in the gaps where you're deficient. The, and then the three tips number one, best nutrition possible. Number two, don't overeat. Number three is you've got to have a way of staying hydrated and a system in place to flush the system out. Okay, and uh, if you need uh, uh, more coaching and specific things on that, go ahead and message me. Uh, I've got, uh, we've got a great plan that we've been following that has been helping folks uh, lose weight, all right? And it's accountability. One of the things, uh, we've had some great sessions at MVP lately with, uh, you know, so actually one of my favorite times is hanging out after the workout. We had a great metabolic session the other day. Everybody's hanging out, talking. I actually posted some pictures uh, from our workout even this morning. Great uh, workout, and we're talking about, you know, kind of, well, you know, what's the week look like? What are people doing? All this kind of stuff. You know, what's the plan for the week? And sometimes those are the best things. And that accountability, you know, put in place with your nutritional plan, those are the things, your support structure, those are the things you're going to need as well. Uh, just for... Uh, 
just for bonus here, I'm going to throw you a couple other tips. Uh, one other thing that I see a lot is folks drinking their calories. You know, drinking too much soda, drinking too much sugar juice, drinking too much beer or alcohol. You know, those, those types of things, you know, drinking extra calories is just going to crush whatever your goal is. And honestly, that's what you need to decide. You need to decide what the goal is. The goal is to keep the goal the goal. You know, if, you're, if your goal is to get crazy lean, I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to get crazy lean, like single digit body fat, it is not going to be easy. Cutting down to a really lean weight without doing it the right way is almost impossible because it's not sustainable. You have to go with a long-term development model in order to take your descent slowly down. A lot of people, what they do is they cut too hard, they get down, their their body can't handle it, their, their brain can't handle it, and they're just an absolute train wreck and then you know they can't like a lot of these extreme diets and whatnot is this like a you know 30 day type of a deal and then all of a sudden they balloon back up to whatever they were or bigger because that it's just not sustainable so uh, you know but the big thing is is don't drink your calories the other thing is plan your meals out plan your meals out throughout the day you know a goal without a plan is just a wish so if you have your meals planned out like religiously and regularly throughout the day and I it doesn't matter for me you know nutrition it depends anybody asks me says well coach what do you think about you know, what's the best nutrition depends you know how much protein should I have depends you know it, it really does it really depends on the individual right so uh, one other one other thing is uh, I, I use a strategy called flipping my portions okay so classic right let's talk pasta night is you know the classic American you know it has this gigantic plate of pasta and then maybe shoot even if they do it all because they're so fat and happy that they don't even have a little bit of side of salad or fruit or vegetables or whatever flipping your portions means having a giant plate of fruits and vegetables or salad and then have a small little you know portion of uh, you know pastas or grains or whatever you're, you're eating so uh, one of my favorite strategies is you know having a big salad and then you know I just put the meat sauce on my salad and then I have a little bit of a small uh, portion of pasta now don't get me wrong I, there'll be a carbo load night where I get after it and uh, you know but you know I kind of incrementally space those out uh, over time so flipping your portions you know so just reviewing right so, a little review so the three things that you need to do every single day is number one fuel your body with the best nutrition possible uh, number two is uh, you need to not overeat and number three is you got to be able to flush the system out those are the three steps and then you break those down into each individual ones about you know what are you putting in you know if you're really focused on the weight or you're fa focused on your leanness the weight on the scale is correlated with the volume that you put in the leanness that you have within your body or on your body is connected to the quality of the volume that you're putting in so the crazy thing is is if you put better quality in you can put less volume in okay and that is the big key if you want to lose weight and get lean at the same time once again if you value what I got going on uh, drop me some thumbs up drop me some hearts like it and share it drop your comments down below uh, if you need uh, an extra boost a little pick me up go ahead and message me and I'll be glad to share with you what we're doing at MVP both in our workouts and our nutritional plan accountability is the key folks okay so once again you guys have a great one. Uh, we're gonna be on a on a Facebook Live lunch with Bomb Roll. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back tomorrow with another one, probably about 11:45 uh, Pacific Standard Time. If you got any comments or actually topics that you want to hear, uh, go ahead and drop it down in the comments or shoot me a message. Whether it's training, whether it's nutrition, uh, whether it's workout stuff, uh, stay away from the medical questions though. Okay. Anyway, so you guys have a great one. Uh, Facebook, if you want some bonus footage, jump over on my Instagram. I'm gonna go over there for a couple minutes and uh, let that roll. So you guys have a great day.